I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Thursday morning, the 30th of November today, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of James in the New Testament, chapter 2, and I'm reading verse 23. Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Do you want to be called a friend of God? I'm sure you do. Everybody does. No one wants to be an enemy of God. God has never lost a fight. And then we go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11, and I'm reading verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We cannot please God by good works. He's not interested in our good works. He says they are like filthy rags. He wants us to trust Him. He wants us to walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. You see, the reason why God loved Abraham so much is because Abraham obeyed whatever God told him to do. Abraham waited a hundred years for his promise, a son. God gave him a son, a beautiful son. His name was Isaac. At the age of about 13 years old, God tested Abraham. He said, I want him back now. Abraham never hesitated. He took his son up to the top of Mount Moriah and was prepared to offer him up as a living sacrifice. God was so moved by that act of faith that he said, stop, 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 Abraham. There's a little ram caught in the thicket. Use that as a sacrifice. That's why he loved Abraham. Abraham is known as the father of faith. You know, George Muller is one of my heroes. George Muller started a children's home in Bristol in England. Something like 10,000 children went through that home. Something like 60 million rand by today's reckoning went through his hands. He never asked for one cent. He prayed for everything and trusted God. At the end of his life, people said, you must have had such a, a love for children. He said, yes, indeed, a great love for children. But the reason why I did it was not even for the children. I wanted to show the world what God will do if we put our faith and trust in him. Today, I want to encourage you. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Don't tempt him, but you can test him. And I want to tell you, he will never, ever let you down. He's a good God. He's for you and he's for me and he's not against us. So he wants us to attempt great things for him and expect great things from him. Have a wonderful day. Jesus bless you and goodbye. <laughs>